Hello and welcome to today's fly tying adventure. Today I'm going to be tying blonde, Blondie SQ. I'm going ahead and attaching the thread all the way around the bend of the hook. I have positioned the hook so I can have more access to the rear end, which makes it easier to put the tail. The tail I'm going to be getting from a red fox squirrel hide along the back. Pulling off the fluff and saving it. That's going to be the dubbing for the thorax. Part of my reach. I'm going to pull out or pluck out any fibers that I don't like. Just the ones that are a little too long. Touch the tail and move it around just to make it position a little better and wind back up over the material careful not to let it roll around the hook and make a mess oops I'm about midway and I'm going to readjust the hook so it sits so it sits in the correct position. Snip off the axis. From here I'm going to attach the rib. Which is going to be small French oval tinsel. Wind back, attaching the rib. Stopping where you left off with the tail. From here I'm going to dub. But first I'm going to apply some wax. With the Rumpf Extra Tacky Wax that I've mentioned before. And I'm going to dub a loose noodle of Awesome Possum uh, Bleach Ginger dubbing for the body. Working my way up, trying to be mindful of the taper I'm building. Now I'm going to rib, wind the rib on. And attach the ribbing. I mean, bind it down onto the hook. Doing two wraps in the back and two wraps in the front to lock it in and snip off close. I'm going to use some pheasant tail for the shell back and for the legs. So I'm going to pluck off uh, six to seven fibers. Just a good sized clump. Work the thread all the way to the front almost to the eye of the hook and I did a counter wrap on the thread so that the thread rolls backwards as I put it on and straighten it up but I was just straightening out the legs so just try and make it sit centered on the shape on the back of the hook I'm gonna use that same dubbing and rub it in my hands just to mix it up uh, so I just put it in the palm of my hands uh, it's a little blurry uh, trying to make it seem a little less blurry, but anyway, I'm just going to move it around in my palm. Just to get it to mix up and become more spiky. From there, I'm going to loosely dub it on. Just so, just so the thorax is a little spikier. It works good because it's like a, a two-tone fly. You have the light body and then the thorax is a lot darker. Not a lot, but it's slightly darker. Anyway, I'm going to 
build up a thorax here. Tighten up the end here. And then I'm gonna pull the covert or wing case over. I always like to call it a shell back for some reason, so I do apologize if I've called it that before. And snip off close. I'm gonna pull back the legs now, just and try and make an even amount pulling each one to the side. So that the legs sit backwards like they're supposed to. And build up a head. Now whip finish. And snip off the tying thread. I hope you enjoy this fly. It's served me well. A lot more recently than it has in the past. I like it. I'll put a couple dabs of heads in it. I will come back and put another dab of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. That's the Blondie SQ.